Welcome to the lesson. In this course, we will keep things very simple at the beginning. As the lessons progress, the difficulty will gradually increase, but everything will always be explained in the clearest and most accessible way possible. It's highly recommended that you keep a notebook to take notes as you follow along. This will help reinforce what you learn. Imagine standing on a clear night looking up the endless sky, have you ever wondered how many different ways humans have found to move through that sky or even beyond it into space? We are not just talking about rockets, we are diving into the entire family of propulsion systems. From the thunder of airplane engines to futuristic concepts like giant solar sails catching sunlight, this is the full spectrum of how humans dream of traveling further, faster and freer than ever before. Where the story is most familiar, the airplane. Picture the roar as a jet takes off, turbines spinning, air compressed and ignited, flames bursting out the back. That is the turbojet and its cousins, the ramjet and scramjet. They gulp air, mix it with fuel and blast it out with a scream of power. Think of them as sprinters. Explosive speed, powerful, noisy, but bound to the track of Earth's atmosphere. The moment the air runs out, their strength vanishes. Above the sky, these runners fall silent. Now imagine climbing higher until the blue fades to black. Here, Jets die, but rockets awaken. Rockets are self reliant they don't just care fuel, they bring their own oxygen. They are like scuba divers plunging into the deep tanks, strabon, carrying everything needed to breathe. That's why rockets can do what no jet ever could. Tear free of Earth, carry satellites into orbit and send explorers to the moon, Mars and beyond. But not every rocket is fire and thunder. Some whisper. Imagine a spacecraft drifting through the void. At its tail a soft blue glue shines, an ion thruster. Instead of explosions, it uses electricity to gently push charge particles into space. The thrust is tiny, almost nothing at first, but it never stops. Day after day, month after month, the push continues. Over time, the spacecraft reaches speeds a chemical rocket could never dream of. NASA's Dawn mission proved this. It danced among asteroids with the patience of a sailor catching a steady wind, a feat no fury rocket alone could manage. Now raise the stakes even further. What if we swept fuel tanks for a nuclear reactor? A nuclear thermal rocket doesn't burn in the usual way. Instead, the reactor heats hydrogen and blasts it out for thrust, twice as efficient as chemical engines, don't forget it. Suddenly the red planet is no longer just a dream. With nuclear rockets Mars could be within practical reach, but nuclear fire is not without shadows. Safety, politics and fear of radiation keep these engines on the drawing board, waiting, perhaps, for a time when the need outweighs the fear. And then, there are ideas that sound like they've stepped out of science fiction. Solar thermal rockets that drink in the sun's heat to warm their fuel. Photon rockets that ride on beams of pure light and west. Gleaming solar sails and furling in the void, catching sunlight the way ancient ships caught the wind. Unbelievable, not anymore. Japan's Icarus mission already proved that solar sails can fly. Imagine 
ships that need no fuel just endless sunlight gliding silently between the planets so here we are standing on the shoulders of ingenuity from the roar of jets in our skies to the thunder of rockets breaking free to the whisper of ions and the dreams of nuclear fire and sunlight sails propulsion is not just physics it's imagination turned into motion don't forget it it's imagination turned into motion some engines belong to earth some to orbit some still waiting for their moment in the future but together they tell one story humanity's endless drive to go further thank you very much see you next lesson